we still see it just as strong as we ever did. Um, people in this city and this town want to know what happened to Patty. Patty Stryker, a mother of four, was shot to death in her business 17 years ago next month. Good evening, everyone. I'm Beth Haynes. Robin and John had the night off. Well, now the creation of a cold case task force might finally be the answer to cracking the unsolved homicide. The unit covers Polk, Bradley, Monroe, and McMinn counties. Patty's case tops their list. 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson has tonight's Appalachian Unsolved. Patty was always in charge type, high spirited. The Stryker Winery was not only a business passion for Patty Stryker, it was her home. Well, she was a real friendly person. She was the type of friend that you'd want to have. Today, it's been long closed since April 10th, 2000, when co-workers found the McMinn County woman shot to death inside. She was just 35 with four children at home. Yeah, I was stunned. It was hard to accept. Sheriff Joe Guy, then a deputy, was called to the scene. The, the, the water is muddied very quickly. Early on, a missing cash register suggested a robbery, but things didn't add up. We have very few robberies here. We have certainly have almost no robberies that wind up in a homicide. And so that raised the red flags for a, pretty much everybody that was there. Suspicions turned to Patty's husband, Stan. Because of the type of person he was and some threats that he had made before she was killed. It was later learned that Mr. and Miss Stryker were in the middle of a divorce. Because he had everything to gain from her death. But Stan Stryker had a solid alibi. He could not have been the shooter because he was at work. There was even video footage pulled of him at his place of employment, but that he could have helped set it up. Billboards covered the town and rewards were offered. Still, sometimes just after a while, you, you run into a, a wall. Fast forward to February 2014, when tragedy hit the winery again. Mr. Stryker takes now the teenage children back to the scene of the crime. He takes out a handgun and shoots both children. They, they were lucky enough to survive. And were able to run away. He went back to his automobile and sat down and committed suicide. I think it, it made us suspicious, but again, there, there was no smoking gun necessarily, no, no uh, confession letter, nothing like that that we could just wrap it up with. As the years passed, Patty's children have grown. Those kids are doing real well. They've adjusted well. They've moved on. And her parents died without seeing a resolution. It worked on them very hard. And you could see it. You could see the physical effects of it on them. It's been 17 years. Long time. Patty's brothers believe the new task force is their last chance. I have faith in him that he can solve this. As time goes on, we believe people will change their mind and come forward. 17 years without an arrest, and it's time to change that. Every one of us needs that chapter in our life to be closed. We need to know the whole story. We need to know what happened. In Athens, Leslie Ackerson, 10 News. Law enforcement were able to pinpoint a timeline between 8.30 a.m. and 9.15 that Patty was killed at the Stryker Winery in Athens. That was on April 10th. 2000. If you have any information about this case, you can reach the Cold Case Task Force at the number on your screen.